Good Tuesday morning. I'm in the shop. I just checked the rain gauge one and a half inches so far between Sunday and Monday. And it's, I don't know if you can see, you can tell by the truck, it's lightly raining. But you can see how fast the puddles go away. Even in the driveway, they've sucked in because we was dry. So I could take another half an inch today, get us up to two inches. That would be sweet. That would get us like 2.6 inches for the month of August so far with, you know, it's obviously the last week of August now. So I'll take it. Yes, I will. All right, I got this thing in here. I just pulled the first one. First of all, I took them plastic covers off, which, you know, it ain't so bad. This one over here by itself, you can keep it somewhat clean. Look at all the shit that gets in behind these when you got two outlets that close to each other. So I don't know if I'm putting them back on because I know some of you farmers will say they're great, but they're a pain in the ass in my opinion. And all the old tractors we used to run, you know, the 10s, the 20 series, 30, 40, 50 series, never had these stupid ass flip up that don't ever stay up half the time when you're trying to plug shit in. So these new ones might go on without it. So there's the first one I took off laying there on some shop towels. I'm gonna get them, I'm gonna get them all off. Cause they, they put this light hook up you know right in a really special place too to try to get in there with your wrench so i'm gonna get them all off and wipe that shit down and whatnot and then start putting the new ones in but i was gonna put the camera up here somewhere but i mean if i put the magnet here it's just it's hard whatever's metal is so close and this is all you know plastic so and i can't hold the camera and work the wrench at the same time so you get the gist of what I'm doing you'll probably see the end result all right I'm trying to do this without getting my camera all shitty too got the four old ones off now I gotta clean this shit out of here that all got behind those stupid covers that's why I'm not a big fan of those covers I got some brake clean I'll spray hey then I'll put the new ones in. Just get these as clean as I can. Yeah, there's a little chunk of mud there that you know, in the threads, but yeah, I'm gonna spray this down with brake clean, try and get some of this shit broke loose. Oh, where's my screwdriver? Oh, bear with me. Get some of this shit out between them. You can't get to with those stupid covers on but I'm sure they got to charge more for the tractor by putting those covers on because they were a great idea just ask the engineer yes if you're an engineer and you're watching you may not like me because I have my issues with how smart engineers do things but all right gonna spray it down get it somewhat clean start putting the new ones in all right, I got the two bottom ones on, and yes, I was just sitting here, you know, talking to myself, humming. I put the top on first, and I'm like, you dumbass. It's kind of hard to get a wrench on the bottom ones if you already got the top ones on. So yeah, I had to take them off, but for, since I've got a bunch of new subscribers, I also took, ate some brake clean when I was spraying all this down to get it clean. Phew, tastes good. If there's any of you that are mechanics, okay, you see how a socket would fit on here, but it would have to be an extremely deep well socket. And like I said, that's that's inch and a half. If you look at the old ones that I took off, the flat sides to get a wrench on were out here towards the end. And those were inch and seven eighths. I don't know, difference between John Deere and Shortline. If anybody, because I've been looking, knows where you can get a true, true deep well set of sockets. I mean, I'm talking ones that are like three inches deep from like one inch to two inch. And I'd like it in three quarter inch drive because 
I've got deep well sockets, but none of them are. And I've run into three or four different things this year where I needed a really true, you know, because most of the deep well sockets, they call deep well, they're like one and a half inches deep, two at the absolute most. So if any of you that are, you know, mechanics, whatever, I'm walking back over the bench so I can put the camera down. Don't need to break it. Let me know in the comments, email, DM me on Instagram, whatever. I've been looking. I can't find any. I've called some companies, but so any of you are mechanics, you can help me out with that. Let me know. All right, two new outlets in for you non-farmers. You know, this is one outlet. This is another outlet. These are your hydraulic blocks. What I mean by that is hydraulic hoses go into that. You control whatever it is behind you, you know, like if it's an implement that needs to be lifted and lowered and stuff like that. Thought about putting this back on, but look at behind it. No, thank you. Great idea, John Deere. Way to, way to store mud and shit. And somebody just pulled in my driveway. All right, we are done. I got my light back in. Although these would have been, I could have got to these easier. The new ones, because like I said, the, the square parts to put the wrench on are down there where the old ones were up here right in the way. So got the light back on, got all that bullshit hose menagerie pulled out of there that, you know, was supposed to drip into that little container that, yeah, that always worked really good. I see no reason for them to leak. I mean, I've got them snugged up. They're O-ring on the inside. I really don't have anything hydraulic sitting around to back it up to and hook up to at the moment to see. So, I don't know. They'll be fine. So, we'll obviously find out in the spring whether or not they work, which I know they're going to work, but... No, the plastic cover thing, yeah, that's uh, that's over there in the circular file somewhere. Yeah, great idea, John Deere. I'm sure you got $100 more for the tractor when you put those on. Like I said a little while ago, this one stays fairly clean. I'll bet you if I pull that cover off, there's shit behind it. Well, actually, I can get my finger behind there and feel a little bit. So, not a... Not a great idea, and you saw how shitty that one was. So that's done. Now I just got to clean up tools. Wipe tools down before I put them away. Yes, I don't like putting greasy, shitty tools because, you know, as you can see. All right, for you new subscribers, you need to go back to the video where I had Mad Moose to do this wrap. This hood was getting, of course, it's a plastic hood, so I called it rusty. But you know what I mean. It was getting that... That plastic rustiness to it where it whatever somebody will give me the right term in the in the video so i toyed with painting it i toyed with lots of things and i had mad moose make me this wrap with the american flag on top like i said go back to that video i don't never been a huge fan of john deere's yellow stripe on the side of the tractors so i just had him do that Derek threw in this, you know, doing the fins like that, which I thought was really cool. And that is just, I don't care what you say. She's hot. Yeah. That was cool when he came up with that design. So let me look from the front. You get a little bit, well, there's too much reflection. But the American flag on top looks cool as hell. But, so that's what we did with that tractor. No, I've had people say, you're going to do that with every tractor? No. That hood needed something done with it. And even though this tractor doesn't get a lot of use, it goes on my sprayer. I spray with it. Sits on augers in the fall when we're loading corn out as we're filling bins because we don't have enough bin space, so we have to sell so much in the fall. So it doesn't get a ton of work. But I just, I've always loved this little tractor. I used to pull that eight row planter with it for a year or two before I switched over to the 7230. And it did it. it. It had the nuts to do it. It just doesn't have the body size. Yeah. Well, speaking of body size, talking about some of the libtards that make their comments. Okay, I'm like, I'm not skinny, you know, but I'm not fat. 
Could I lose 20 pounds? Sure, I weigh about 220, 225. And I smoke my little cigars, as you've seen. There was one commenter that said, I won't be around very long. And I can't remember how he put it. Uh, I will become dust of the earth or some fucked up thing in plain English. Because I need to lose 100 pounds and quit smoking. Well, I'm sure I could probably quit smoking. But I'm not so sure if, you know, weighing 120 pounds would be all that great. But hey, whatever, dude. I mean, you be you. I'll be me. So, all right, this is accomplished. This can go get parked. Well, got to clean my shit up first, then I can go get parked. And I don't know, whatever else I put on this, I put on it. All right, this low pressure that's been spinning around us for the last two, three days is dropping some more rain. The sun was out a few minutes ago. So I'm, uh, I'm just gonna end this video because I don't want it to be super long. But yes, I don't always bitch in my videos. Ooh, hey, hang on. Got a little shitty there on the, on the lens, but. So yes, you will see farming stuff too, you know. So I hope you subscribe and like that too. You're not just here for my bitching, but you will get that too though. Cause hey, that's me. But it's funny, I had a, I don't know if it was the last video, or whatever, when we were talking about the whole, you know, go green bullshit and the generator and all that. I had a seventh grade science teacher leave a comment. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm glad to see that there's some teachers out there that aren't you know into just the indoctrination of our kids today because and I can't from the name I don't know if it was a he or a she well today uh, no, I'm not even you know he she or whatever in today's world but this person obviously I would think isn't like that but uh anyways I digress they just left initials, so I, I have no idea, but they told me, they're a science teacher who told me to do this little science project. Yeah, I'm just a dumb farmer, so. They said, take a clear glass, make sure it's clear so you can see in it, fill it to the top with ice cubes. So I grabbed one out of the cupboard, and I don't know what it was, four or five ice cubes on top of each other, put it to the top, fill it three quarters of the way with water, and then make a mark where that water level is. And I did this on Instagram, so those of you who follow me there, this fly, I'm gonna son of a bitch. So those of you that follow me on Instagram have already seen this. He said, and then wait for the ice cubes to melt and then see where your water level is. Well, lo and behold, the water level was still in the same spot. <clears throat> now this person gave me all these scientific terms and all this, you know, massive ice and melting and whatever, I'm not a scientist. So I just follow the science. Yeah, the real science, not the bullshit science. Anyways, it's it's nice to see, like I said, that there's some teachers out there that just aren't into indoctrinating our kids. But this person made a comment after I commented back after the experiment and said, yeah, hey, I tried it. Worked, you know, just like you said and whatnot. And like this person said, well, when the ice is melting, into the seas like it is and they're claiming that's what's raising the water levels it's not because the water levels aren't rising like they're saying but they just keep pounding that into everybody's head though you know fear is pretty much the number one motivator when you stop and think about it so if you can keep yourself from being a scared shitless sheep you don't have to worry about it but there's too many scared shitless sheep Oh, this fly, and it's freaking muggy. So we need to wake the scared shitless sheep up. But then again, I had another commenter back at that video too that made a comment about how they filled their iced tea glass up almost to the top and then put an ice cube in it. And when the ice cube melted, their iced tea overflowed. I call bullshit on you, so you're obviously a lefty lunatic, but anyways i'm done we'll see you in the next one get yourself some grumpy farmer gear if you want it and we'll see what we film next